Hey everybody, this is Andy Traub. I am working on a brand new project called Fix Your Inbox. It's a system that I have created and you can find more information at fixyourinbox.com. But in the meantime, as I develop it with your help, you'll hear about that in a little bit, uh, I'm gonna give you a sample of some of the things that I'm gonna cover in the system. So one of them is that we waste a tremendous amount of time going from uh, our emails to our calendar. And so I'm gonna show you a way that Gmail really incorporates that in a very smooth way and then some shortcuts to uh, to use it. So what you're gonna do, and you need a Gmail account to do this, and once you get Gmail, I promise you'll never go back. Uh, so sign up for a Gmail account, and once you have that set up in order to sync your uh, calendar or show your calendar in your inbox, you're just gonna go click on this gear right here, and that's for settings, and then click on settings here. And then you're gonna find the labs tag all right, there's labs. And then I encourage you to do this. If you're on a PC, hit Control F. If you're on a Mac, hit Command F. You're gonna get to this little window right here and you're just gonna type in the word calendar and hit enter. And if you scroll through these, you'll see, cause there's a lot of these, a lot of these things. So it can take a long time to find it, but you wanna find the one that says Google Calendar Gadget. And you're going to make sure that's enabled. And you're gonna go to the bottom and make sure you hit save changes. So I've already enabled mine. So I'm just gonna go right to my inbox. So you'll see it in the left side here and you can move it around like this. All right, so you can make it uh, more visible and you can minimize it by clicking here. And I'm gonna show you just some things we can do inside of this. So the first one is that um, you can show a mini calendar. A lot of people wanna know the day. Uh, so you can click here and click show mini calendar. It's gonna show you a larger view of the month and you can go forward like this and then click on a specific day, and it'll pull up that, that meeting or that day of meetings. And then you click on this today button, and it'll go back to today. And you can see right here, today. And now I'm gonna get rid of the mini calendar. I don't like to show that. Some other options there, are you can show past events if you wanna be able to look in the past, and also edit which calendars you wanna be visible. Uh, in Google calendars, you can have multiple calendars. Uh, maybe you have a family and a business one that are separate, and you can have more than one of those show. And then I would encourage you to change the color of the calendars so you can see within this small view here which calendar you're looking at. And then you can also open the calendar. But what I want to show you, which I think is uh, something I use the most, is I click on this add button a lot. And it's a quick add button. So I'm going to give you an example of some of the things that you can type in here and how intuitive this is. Because one of the problems with making a, an appointment is sometimes it takes as long to type in the appointment as the appointment takes to actually have. So I'm going to show you how th they make this really easy. So uh, this is one, you can say lunch noon tomorrow with Cliff at uh, Chipotle. Hit enter, and then you're gonna see right here, tomorrow lunch with Cliff at Chipotle. Click on more details. And this is a detailed view, and you're gonna see noon to 1230, and you can change that just by clicking here. And I could have typed noon to 1 p.m. I would have saved it. Uh, and then you can see where is it. It'll automatically put that if you put the at, and then there's a the name. So I'll click save, close that, and we'll go back here, and there it is right there. Um, if I wanna delete it, I can just click on that, click on more details, and then when it pops up, hit delete. All right, here's another one. Uh, let's do another, let's see if we can do, uh, okay, we can do really specific times too. So if someone says, let's meet tomorrow at 1.15, you can say, well, let's make it more complicated. Meet 1.15 to 1.45 p.m. next Thursday. So you don't need to know the date. Just type next Thursday uh, with Mike in conference room. I spelled that wrong. And we'll do that. And so let's go to next Thursday. And you can see right here, we've got meet with Mike in conference room. So we'll click on that, click on more details. And we've got 115 to 145 conference room, meet with Mike. There you go. One more cool thing you can do is if you wanted to have something repeat every single day and make that very easy, just click add and just say lunch every day from 1130 to noon. And you can see every day now we've got lunch, lunch, lunch. So going forward, there you go. So I encourage you to go make that change today. Uh, save you some time right now. 
And if you haven't shared what you hate about your email, you can do that over at fixyourinbox.com. So I continue to take uh, input on what people don't like about their email. And then I will offer lots and lots of solutions. And so I appreciate your uh, information over there so I can know how to make a better process for you. Have a great day.